Give me. Yeah. Hey everybody, long time no video. Uh, this is Casey Snyder here again, and I'm recording a video on vacation actually. I uh, came up kind of northwest Minnesota to uh, stay at a small kind of farmhouse cabin place with my wife uh, and of course the dog. We're basically just out here today, kind of taking it easy. We have kind of Saturday through Tuesday off to be up here and just kind of taking it in and relaxing. I'm doing basically some reading and prep for my upcoming tree stuff webinar. That's gonna be probably done before I get this video up. Um, but if you guys haven't seen that already, you can go to Tree Stuff's page and find that. Um, it was a live stream talking about uh, tree risk assessment. Last couple weeks, I have been doing more climbing. I've done some wrecked climbing um, on my own that I just really haven't been recording because I've been learning some new um, equipment and trying some different things. And it's hard to be like self-conscious and thinking of what you're working on and trying to record and talk like I do in most of my videos. So I like to become a little more proficient on something before I try to like show off what I'm doing. The other climbing that I've done, I've been working with the students at Hennepin County Technical College. I'll have the right spelling and all that there. That group has been really fun to work with. They're uh, 10 students and put together by two local, very awesome arborists in my area. We have Rod Rodman and then Chad Giblin really great guys and you know they're all they're both on their paths as professional arborists and teachers and uh, it was pretty fun to be invited into that that group um, I felt really lucky uh, here's some video of that Yeah, so pretty fun stuff. Did that for two Fridays. I basically blocked my whole day off to just kind of climb and have fun and hang out with people. Uh, this lake here is Battle Lake. So, hey. Some of these oaks here are gonna be ones that I'm gonna put a line in tomorrow. I just kind of want to be able to climb here near the water so I'm going to cut to some footage of me climbing, and uh, it'll be like the next day. It's May 1st. May 2nd is tomorrow, is my buddy Berkeley's birthday. Happy birthday. And we'll see you guys again. I'll probably talk more. So, like, don't go anywhere because it's, like, still more talking. big tree there's a nice big oak over here that my dog scared an owl out of so I'm gonna go climb it it's kind of a twin oak here right by the water edge it's right next to this abandoned shack I'm gonna need to throw in a line carefully because there's pretty big drop off there but I thought that would kind of give me a nice view of the lake. I'm gonna get set up in it and uh, should be cool. Start on camera to see how steep this is. Oh boy. I think I'll just have to go for it. Nope, 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 nope. Too low. Oh boy. 
All right, gotta work the kinks out, then I can record more. Got her retrieved. Coming up a little higher up the hill to throw. Yeah, baby. I think I can make this work. It is steep as hell. Good thing I got good boots for this. Okay. Oh boy. Come on down. Come on down. So I decided not to isolate it because I'm going to run a basal anchor. Uh, I just want to have kind of a multiple branches under me, uh, under my tie-in point. All right, got my Samson hyper climb here. Let's get that up and over this oak. Alrighty. Um, yeah, that'll work. There we go. Right back to me. Cool. This is going to be a nice ascent. All right, so I have my basal anchor set up here. As you can kind of see, I've got this tied up. I hate having rope on rope contact. So I basically just done a bowlin with a uh, Yosemite tie off. But with this ring on my rope, I basically slid that on before I started tying that bowl on. And uh, that's all there holding it together. And that's safe on its own, especially with this marked ring. But as a backup with the splice that I have here, I just went ahead and put a quickie on there. It's not truly a true backup because if this fails, this is probably failing with it. But hey, whatever, it's there. I'll figure out more strategy for that. And if you have any strategies for that, please let me know. All right, so I'm just kind of picking out the gear I want to take. I think I'm just going to go with a classic rope wrench setup with this double tether. Uh, I've been climbing a lot on mechanical devices between the zigzag and the Rope Runner Pro, so I think I might just go back a little old school today. I'm staying in a rustic cabin, so it just seems to kind of fit that vibe. Get up this tree. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take another nice swing out over the lake and then I'm gonna send up in this oak. Yeah. We're gonna take a good swing out and then head up. This will be this will be fun. I always need to get my nerves up to do this, so. There's a lake. Huh. I love it. Love it. This is so cool. <laughs> All right. Let's get ascending. <sighs> kind of just want to chill here. It's better than a hammock. And I don't have to really work anymore. Oh. Well. Better get going. Samson Hyper Climb, Notch Jet Step. Haas, no, not Haas. <laughs> uh, the Climbing Innovation Saka. Uh, I've got the At Height Double Tether, my Rope Wrench, Yale Veritas tying on a VT onto my Tree Stuff Hitch Climber. That's everything I'm climbing on. Obviously the DMM Duralock Ultra O. And then I'm on my Petzl uh, Sequoia saddle. So I'm using the SRT uh, connection rather than my bridge on this ascent. Um, and then kind of when I get up in the canopy, I'll probably change 
for a little bit of mo mobility. Um, yeah, nice big Baroque. Nice big uh, lake. Hey. There's my wife and dog. I was able to swing out from the hill, like out to the lake. Okay, <laughs> that was super cool. All right, they're gonna go and do their thing and I'm gonna get in to continue climbing. Okay. All right, well, I do think I chose a pretty good stem to climb on um, between my inspection at the base and now looking at this up here, I'm sure there's a nice home for something in there. Uh, there's not as many cavities up above in the center stem, so I'm happy with the center lead. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just super thrilled. This is so nice. Maybe I'll try to shoot over this way and try to repel down the back side. We'll see. I'm setting up my GoPro on this limb and I'm going to kind of walk back out here and hang out. Um, I just wanted to offer some advice if anyone's looking to get a good setup for a you know GoPro in a tree. This Joby is pretty standard for like a you know, gripping arm to hold on to branches. Um, try to find one with longer legs because that's going to be the best way to get grip and friction. The additional thing you can buy on the side is this Edelrid tool lanyard and so I don't have to worry about this falling down I basically just wrap it on itself and girth it off in case for any reason this slips off it'll be caught by the lanyard so it doesn't fall all the way down so little pro tip all right okay well I have a nice uh, set up here so I figured I'd just talk pretty good even though the tree's really not moving too much uh, I don't even know if you guys can hear me but I can always crank up that volume <laughs> crank up that volume why, why would I say that I'm feeling pretty good it's uh, been a while since I recorded in earnest and I've just kind of felt a little uh, underwater with work and life I don't really have any new gear to talk about I mean the only new thing quote unquote I'd have to say is that I've kind of gone back to another um, textile type of tether rather than using the like notch fusion tether or the ISC squirrel tether. I wanted to make a review video about the ISC squirrel tether but I kind of fell uh, out of love with it pretty fast. I thought the idea of it was really cool. Um, if you wanted to watch a review of that go see this video or wherever it is, Tree Spice Media. Um, he made a really cool video. And you should also check out his other video recently he posted with the uh, him climbing with his partner um, in St. Paul at the uh, trio cache I put up a while ago. So uh, first basically just saying a shout out to you man that was really cool. I still have a very you know much a soft spot of just having this softer tether and just using a hitch cord setup with a hitch climber pulley. I think that's always going to be my favorite SRS climbing system. Maybe it's more nostalgia based, but it, it it really does work super nicely and it's it's a good component system that I think just works super well. Like I probably already said I'm at Battle Lake in Minnesota. We stopped at a local brewery, ABC Brewery Brewery, ABC Brewery. Uh, also shout out to them because well I can't say based on the merit of the beer. I have not tried their beer but they're um, brewery is really cool they have this really cool car sitting out in front of it and um, we were impressed by that 
it seemed like a nice place up there. So if anyone's up in Northwest Minnesota, you should check it out. Um, my wife and I got away for our anniversary, which is on May 4th. And yeah, that's we just took some time off work. I got a little nut hatch checking me out. Kind of pissed off that I'm in his tree. God damn, this is so cool. Well, I don't really have much else to say. Um, hopefully you guys checked out my tree risk assessment thing. And uh, I'll just keep kind of booping around this tree. Just wanted to inspect my primary suspension point here. So that was the main tie-in point I had. This is kind of my backup. And obviously that's the ground. So I'm as pretty much as comfortable in terms of a primary suspension point as high as I'd want to be. So I was really happy with my throw despite being off a slope. So it'd be kind of fun to swing over and come down in this next neighboring tree. So I don't have my captain hook, so I'll have to like do some acrobatics to make this work, but it'd be kind of fun if I could do it. Oof. Now this is a lakeside view, man. The idea I've got here is get a redirect set over this limb, go down a bit, swing over to that tree, and then work up in that canopy. So, uh, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God, let's do it. Let's do it. So here's what my situation looks like. I've got the hyperclimb up and around my primary suspension point. Coming back and around underneath. You know, I probably should have come under, but then I was worried a little bit about crossing the rope. But then I've also got that as a backup, and that's gonna be what I use to swing over to that tree. Once I get to that tree, I'll have yet another redirect. And then uh, that's probably enough redirects. I wanna make sure I can still get my rope down. So let's, uh, let's swing over. I don't know how many of you, um, you know, are afraid of taking swings, but I, I definitely am. Um, they scare the shit out of me, honestly. I'm always worried about what, what's gonna happen to my body. So, uh, yeah, just know I'm scared. It's okay to be scared, especially when you have what feels like a pretty far distance to swing out. So, you know, just gotta be prepared to swing back and, and have it not work right. Oh, I did it. Okay. Ah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> okay. First try. That was cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I'm over. is always so amazing to me. I remember being a kid climbing up a tree, you know, like 10 years ago, wondering how you, you know, I was always on a moving rope system. I'm like, how could I get my 
you know, friction saver to work. But, you know, I want to get from tree to tree or get over ground, up and around, up here, here, and then ground again. So I just love being able to do this. It's such a cool way to climb. There's a uh, pheasant over there. You know, I was a little worried about this tree at first, but I think it's really nice. I'm glad my rope bag hasn't gone down to the lake yet. So I'm actually really close to my gear too. So this ain't too shabby. Yeah, it's quite dead. Giorgio. Good timing. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. What you got? I'm covered in tree stuff. For making sure I wasn't dead. Giorgio. Oh, All right, so it's our last morning here and I'm taking George for a quick walk. Yeah. Oh yeah, climbing was really fun, relaxing, hanging out with my wife. It's really nice to get away for a couple days. And uh, it's a little cooler and overcast than it has been the past couple days. So I think it's actually a pretty decent day to travel back home to the big city. So thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Uh, a lot of people have subscribed even when I wasn't posting videos, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll continue to post videos. Didn't mean to slow down, it's just kind of how life happens. So, have fun. See you in the next one.